Toontown, Disney's answer to pretty much every MMO back in the early 2000s. We had World of Warcraft, we had Final Fantasy XI, eventually it would be Final Fantasy XIV, and a couple others that have been lost to time, but Toontown seemed to have been the one that's held on the most in a lot of people's hearts, and especially in mine. And what I want to do is I want to relive my childhood, and we're going to do that with Toontown Rewritten. There's a few others that are like this. There's a Corporate Clash, and I believe there's another one that um, isn't as popular. But this seems to be the most popular one, where they've basically just taken everything that was from the previous game, booted it over, and then just added a few more things to just kind of keep up with the times of how games are. And I want to try something a little bit different. In the community, there's been a bunch of different rules and subsets for how people build their characters. There's Ubers, where you build basically just sound on your character and you take people through for factories there's other ones such as um no sound only tunes which is considered hard mode by a lot of people considering that sound is one of the most popular and if not the easiest way to play the game and then there's also no lures and no t uh, tune-ups and those are some of the harder ones but i haven't seen anybody attempt what i want to attempt today Today, I want to attempt a no-death playthrough of Toontown. In the premise of itself, it's probably easy, but I want to see how far it actually takes for me to get to the end game, which is essentially all the possible laugh points there is, minus doing golf or Goofy's racetrack. Um, I will be doing fishing and I will be doing flowering for obvious reasons that they provide an abundance of wealth. Other than that, um, I want to see how far I can get, and I want to see how long it takes me to die, and when and if. So that being said, it would be pretty easy to avoid dying, you just run away from fights and everything. But another thing that I'm going to do is I'm not going to run away from any fights. If I die, I die. The battles I choose are my own, and that is that. So let's get right into it, let's make a new character. And let's see how many characters it takes, or uh, how many times it takes for me to die before I actually, uh, you know, make it through. So, uh, in honor of this, I'm going to do an homage to my original character way back when on Toontown uh, that I absolutely loved. And his name was Duke Skid Crumbleblocker, which was in reference to, you know, skid marks in your underwear. Um, obviously I'm just a fucking loser like that, but it is what it is. So, if I remember correctly, he was lime green, like that. Uh, he didn't... Oh, clothing's next. Uh, he didn't have any very good outfit colors. Uh, because we were very limited when we first started. And this is pretty much what I started with. So obviously I'm just going to type in my handle, and you guys will be able to find me and assume me whenever these episodes come out. Uh, if you can find me, by all means, uh, you guys are more than welcome to try and ruin my runs, but I am very confident in myself as a player to not have any of my runs ruined or die. So let's get it going. Alright. So I'm going to skip the Toontown tutorial because I don't need it. Um, the only thing that I'm missing out from the Toontown tutorial is a few points uh, towards abilities and then obviously um, riding the trolley for the first time to get jelly beans, which thankfully for this run, we won't be riding the trolley very often. Um, we just need to ride the trolley for two things. We need to ride the trolley to get gags for the first time, and then we need to ride until we get 40 jelly beans. After that, every time we get to halfway down on our jelly beans, we'll restock by going fishing, which will provide us tune points as well as our jelly beans, so we don't need to worry about anything crazy. And then I went in the wrong place because I need to go on the trolley. So used to playing on my high level tune that I, I forget that the trolley's a thing. 
It's also another thing. I really hate the trolley. I hate 99% of the trolley games. Um, I even hated them back when I played uh, Toontown when it was actually owned by Disney and on a live server owned by Disney. They... They were just messy. Alright, so... About right here. Nope. I need to lower the cannon a little bit, but other than that, I'm spot on. Uh, two clicks. Okay. That was a little more than two clicks, I guess. That should be good. Alright, so we got 17 of our 40, which doesn't really matter because we're going to buy gags first. And we didn't even have enough to, to get all our gags. Alright. This is a good one for jelly beans, assuming you can get everything before time runs out. Uh, and this is another one that's just pure RNG on how the maps are laid out based on what zone you're actually in. So Toontown, obviously Central, has the easiest ones but give you the least amount of jelly beans. Which makes it imperative that you literally get all of them within the time frame or you're just not going to get that many jelly beans. Um, so another thing is eventually uh when you go to the different districts if you ride the trolley you get different uh skill based tasks that are the same as this but they're a lot harder there's more points to get and less time and it's very hard to 100 percent those compared to the ones in toontown central which is a good thing for me because i won't have to do this ever again actually expect that to hit. But I guess I walked forward after the animation and still had its hitbox frames up. So another thing that I like about these games is the um, silliness of it all is you can you can abuse a lot of weird glitches and different things that uh, ultimately don't make life easier, but it does make it more interesting when you're doing runs. Also, the rules for priority are obviously going to be laugh points, then uh, tracks, and then any other fun stuff such as jelly beans uh, to afford some of the more expensive needs that we're going to eventually have, such as uh, new banks to hold more jelly beans and... Um, what are they called? Ah... Uh, Oh shit, I wasn't even watching the time. One of six, not bad, but I could have gotten an extra 40 if I just ran to the end. I wasn't paying attention. Which would have netted me about 30 jelly beans. Alright, so. Probably gotta do one or two more. This wasn't one of them in the original game, if I recall correctly. I think this was out, added with uh, Toontown rewritten, uh, but I'm not sure, because I stopped playing Toontown in 2008, which was, I think, four years or six years before the, the official servers went down. And then I think uh, they brought these servers back in 2017 or 2018. Uh, for everybody to enjoy for free. Which, if you guys uh, want to join in and start playing, you guys are more than welcome. Uh, it is also very easy to get into. You just type in the name and then it'll bring it right up for you. Um, and then there's also third-party apps to help out with doing everything that you would want, such as uh, boss battle invasions, boss fights, 
just a bunch of crazy things that are worthwhile. Alright, perfect. Alright, and then we're done with the trolley forever. Thank you, game. I know I'm off my tune tasks. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get out of Welcome Valley since nobody's allowed to be there. We'll visit Splat Summit for now until I actually take a look at the other districts. Because um, eventually I'm going to need to add a friend uh, as one of my tune tasks. So, let's see. Do we have any low pop character? Or not low pop invasions, but uh, low bot level invasions. Flunky's perfect. Flunkies is good for the start, especially right off the get-go, because um, you're required to kill four boss bots to get everything that you need. Plus, you get double points during invasions, which makes uh, this stuff really easy. Um, you also get double points, I believe, in buildings um, that aren't during invasions, but I don't remember if that was just a uh, event or if that was common. Also, what we're going to do until we get other gags is we're going to bounce between uh, leveling up our throw and then leveling up our squirt. Because squirt takes a while to level up and it doesn't do nearly as much damage, so you can die relatively easy using squirt, but you can also die during throw as well. But um, they all have accuracy ratings and all this other crazy stuff that are just... So now I have to add a friend, so I have to find somebody that I can just... Uh, click befriend on uh this guy buckley let's see if no nope, he's busy uh he's going on the trolley what a shame uh let's see that means i'll have to hop to splatsville and then come back Now that I've knocked that out, the rest of the game should be easy. I don't need to add anybody unless anybody that is here obviously sees my panhandle or wants to add me as a friend. You are more than welcome. Um, I'm almost always on Toon HQ. So I don't have a gardening kit yet, so I think I have to buy that. Uh, I wonder how much it is, because I can't remember how much it was on the main character. I think it might be 500 jelly beans, and I not, I might not even get it in this issue. I might have to wait, like, a week or two to get it in the next issue. Uh, oh, gardening kit. There we go. Perfect. 50 jelly beans. So now that I have that, I'm short on jelly beans again. But that's okay, because we have 17 jelly beans, which is a little bit under the maximum you could do for fishing. You could do 20 jelly beans for fishing. Uh, but we're also going to do uh, these, because planting and gardening is going to be very key for our start in this game. So, all plants take a day, no matter how many jelly beans they are. Um, and you want to max out your gardening and uh, watering skills immediately, because they are beneficial later. I think it's five for level one. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, and it tells you when it's full now. Okay, that's really nice. All right, so we did a green. How about an orange? So I think there's 40 flowers in total. I might be wrong. I think there's more than that. There might be 80. It's either 40 or 80. It's one of the big round numbers. Um, and with each of those, you get... Uh, a new laugh point every 10. Same with fishing, and then I think golf, golfing every 10 trophies, and then uh, go-karting every 10 
to 100 trophies gives you uh, laugh points, which is an insanely high number. But again, we won't be doing any of those um, for a while, or if at all. Uh, I'll only do that if I actually get this character to max. All right. Now with all our flowers planted and watered, we're good to go. We can actually uh, fish here. Forgot that is, is a thing. You also have different fish that you can get everywhere. So certain fish only appear in certain places, such as alleys, uh, certain zones, such as Toontown Central, Donald's Dreamland, Donald's Dock, etc., etc. Um, and there's one specific to here. And I think it's the Holy Moly Amore Eel. It's, uh, it's hard to remember where all of the fish spawn because there's, I think, 70. I know where two are basically only at. And it's... Um, the, the hardest two in the game for me personally, which was one of the starfish, I believe, is one, in one of the alleyways. And it's ridiculously hard to get unless the uh, fishing chance up minigame is there through the silly meter, Regular. which was one thing that we didn't have uh, back when I played originally. So that was unlucky. I only got the starfish. So I'll get a couple jelly beans from that. I'll get seven. And then purples are whispers, in case anybody's wondering why that uh, purple text pops up. Apparently the pet shop can just whisper me. Okay, cool. So a couple new species, that's good. We got 64 jelly beans out of that, which is good, because then we don't have to do any more fishing currently. So that means we can go back to Zoink Falls. Uh, another thing to take note is Wednesday. Wednesday is always fish bingo day, and then I think weekends alternate on what they are. We also didn't have Flippy uh, back when I played. Like, the, the bank and the library, I just swapped them, but whatever. Uh, both, both are things that did not really have a purpose back during my uh, my time. We also didn't have the town hall and uh, that. So now I need to defeat four cogs and then I'll eventually need to defeat four boss bots, which is again why we chose the flunky invasion. Not only does it give double points, but it is very beneficial towards everything that we're going to be doing from here on out which is just going to be focusing strictly on being through everything and then uh, taking part in the events as they're needed for, um, what are they called? Uh, the Toon HQ stuff. Because the Toon HQ is gonna be uh, basically required for endgame content to find people. Uh, especially when the population is low like this, people always post stuff and then you just gotta hop in. So it'll be a lot more uh, clicky clacks when I'm doing that because I'll have to type to everybody in the Toon HQ as well as find actual Toon HQ that are good. Jesus, my guy. My man's pulling up the hacks. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we'll just have to pull out the squirt in. here just hacking his ass off i'm a little hesitant to take on a level two after that level one just clowned me so hard but oh, 
you can see what I mean by like sometimes uh, your gags just absolutely just miss every time and you just got to switch it up and it's crazy because like some of these are either like high accuracy or medium accuracy for throwing which means really bumpkiss but I, I'm pretty sure medium accuracy means 75% uh, of the time it hits and high means 90% of the time and then I think low means uh, 50 oh my god All right, I'm just not gonna risk dying. Just uh, pull out all the squirting that I need. I'm gonna have to sit in town and wait for my HP unless there's uh, ice creams laying around. Well, it's a good thing he's only hitting me for ones because I'm getting a little close. No, I'm also gonna have to go buy gags. Then after I buy gags, I'll go fishing again and just keep looping it up. All right, so buy the rest of those, and those, and then we're good. Oh yeah, you also have gag bag limits, which are also gonna be a primary focus for us, because the more gags you have, it means the longer you can stay out with actually. Uh, without having to go and fetch quests, basically everything. Uh, I can't catch that because I'm a little character. Oh, okay, maybe I can catch those. I didn't think I could. I thought I was too low of a level and I didn't have the uh, proper fishing rod. So there's another thing. Um, fishing rods actually have levels that you need to get through the... Um... Oh, we shot that. It didn't matter. I wasn't paying attention to the bingo timer. Um, but fishing rods and watering kits and a bunch of other stuff just have levels. And the levels are whatever. They help with getting more laugh. Um, so they'll be essential to our run, but they won't be like end all be all. So nice. We got 13 new fish, uh, which means we get a laugh point because, like I said, every 10. So seven laugh points come strictly just from fishing, which is pretty good in of itself. And like I said, we'll come naturally with progress, because different zones hold different fish. Some are everywhere, and then some are required in certain spots. All right, so we'll try and wrap up our throw on this guy. I'm cursed. <laughs> I have never seen that happen so many times on level ones. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. Life is unending misery. Alright, there's another level one coming up, so hopefully I can just run at this guy and then finish him off with a cake. I just need one more, come on. Just... There we go. Oh, finally. All right, so we got both our tune task. And our throw up, which is good. So now we got to turn the new tune task in and then work on getting our new gags and then rotating out the old ones. And then just start using those, which we'll get four points per, which by the time we get to 50, it'll take a... Uh, about 13 throws if we do it in the double DXP stuff which again I'm gonna essentially try to uh, focus on I gotta defeat four law bots oh that's rude 
It used to be boss bots, but I guess it rotates for everybody. Um, all right, let's see. Is there any law bot invasions? There's not. Okay. So now because there's no law bot invasions, it makes the leveling a little bit slower. So we're going to have to just rotate. We'll go to Zapwood. And then we have to find the lane that has the most chance for law bots, which I believe is Silly Street. Or it might be cell bots. I'm not sure. It's one of the two. But there's a handy dandy way to check. Uh, I believe it is alt. Yep, alt. So this has 25% for each. Um, which means I think it's the one towards... I think it's the one towards Loopy that has 75% chance for law bots. And that's usually a telltale way of how you're going to be farming. Like, the whole game is just going to be looking at these and then choosing, oh, okay, well, this one has this much percentage, and then you just go from there. Yeah, like, see, we got a 70% here. We have level 2 stuff now, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, never mind. Uh, I might die already. I, I chose the wrong fight. Oh, I chose the wrong fight. Alright, we'll just have to water him down, and hopefully that'll carry me through. Oh god, one more and I die. Alright, I gotta hope this water kills him. Please hit. Clutched up, let's go. This is normally when I hop to a dead server to try and get health back quickly, but uh, I don't think there's that many people here in this district, even though there was like 150. I think most of them are probably going to be sleeping in Donald's Dreamland. Now, again, the thing with uh, gags and everything is uh, you can see these are grayed out, which don't give you any skill credit, which is kind of lame, but at the same time... Um, Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting tilted by this fucking game already. But, um, as you can see, uh, we'd be bouncing between gags, especially a lot later in game when you can only hold, like, three banana creams or three fire hoses. Uh, and since they provide so much skill credit and do so much damage, it's almost worth it to just keep bouncing back between the hub to get gags and then bouncing back uh, into the boss bots. Or any bots, really. I'm going to refer to them a lot as boss bots because uh, on my other character, I've been more or less hard focusing boss bots, trying to get the, the boss bot suit and get the boss bot outfit done and everything else. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh, nice. The level 2 joined, so I'll also be able to get credit for both. I'll knock them both out. Oh, he's a level 108. I wonder what he's doing then. What his goal is. Because normally you're not here unless you're supposed to be helping new tunes. <laughs> 